was your company, right? You're 52 million in the red, but you've decided to give yourself a bonus regardless. Nobody's watching your channel at all, but a person you've decided to hire recently after much hyping released their own version of events regarding, of course, the former royal known as the Duke of York, Prince Andrew, and that tanked in the ratings despite all the hype. So what do you do? You go and hire her. Yes, that's exactly what's going on behind the scenes of Channel 4. But things are getting worse because, quite frankly, while this particular individual thought she was going to be Lady Moak, King Ping, Queen of the Channel, well, behind the scenes, somebody with a rather sort of, uh, shall we say, shadier background has upstaged her in the money stakes. Let me explain. Morning, nice to see you. Thank you so much as ever for your time. Lovely to have your company. Yes, 52 million in the red. We're talking about the British TV channel, Channel 4, and in predominantly Channel 4 News. Channel 4 News, you know, is so little watched that at one point, 56,000 people were watching the channel. And this is a channel, of course, that's hosted by the disgraced and suspended Christian Guru Murthy, who had to be suspended for swearing live on air. He, of course, also appeared in the reality TV show Strictly Come Dancing at one point threatened to go into the world of entertainment. The world of entertainment quickly shut their doors on him, so he's now back to reading auto cue and looking flustered while interviewing former contestants like Amanda Abington, uh, all about the terrible experience that she went through in Strictly Come Dancing. You see how this works now. But they are focusing on their American election special. So they've decided to put together, yes, the suspended presenter, alongside, some might say, the equally, well, unsavoury Emily Maitlis, who's made a career out of singly one interview. So much so that she decided to go to a streaming giant to tell her side of the events, which literally plummeted. But here's where it gets fascinating, because the boss of Channel 4, Alex Mahon, right, she has given herself thousands of pounds in a bonus. Even though ad revenues are down, they've slashed the staff, nobody's watching the channel, and as I say, they're 52 million in the red. But she's got a bonus. What would you get if it was any worse? You have to ask the question. However, Emily's now furious behind the scenes, doesn't want to admit it, as ever we have to say allegedly. This is because Channel 4 have also booked on that election special, which is going to be, of course, detailed in the American election between uh, Harris and Trump. Well, here's where it gets really unsavoury, because they claim to be the home of journalistic integrity. It's all about the real story. So what do you do? You book this woman. That's right, Stormy Daniels, a woman with a rather checkered past to say the least. Met Stormy, not exactly, you know, unsavoury as a person, but not necessarily the sort of person that you'd want giving detail about, well, an election. But this is exactly what a parody Channel 4 News have now become. They don't care about the truth, the reality. Let's just get someone to embarrass the former presidents of the United States. Equally, though, we don't have, say, somebody representing Hunter Biden. No, 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 we, that would be too clear, right? So here's where it gets even more interesting. Stormy is picking up triple the paycheck that the alleged superior journalist Emily Maitlis is. And when you think about that, and apparently this has got down to Emily's very large ears, well apparently <laughs> the thing is she's less than pleased and it looks like it could be a stormy night in that election studio for Channel 4 for all the wrong reasons. But as ever, don't expect any real news because it's not. And the other side of the coin is the boss, Alex at Channel 4, will pick up that staggering bonus payment whether you watch or not, whether advertisers back it or not. This is the mainstream media. This is the news that they are presenting to you. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.